Well guys, today is an exciting day. We've just uh, picked up the boat and it's gonna be a little project we're doing. We're gonna do it all up. It needs a bit of TLC. So um, all the uh, decks are gonna be all sanded and redone. We're gonna put Evo tiles on it. So we're really looking forward to doing that, doing it up. And we're gonna be putting the diamond deck. So if you're looking at putting EVA flooring down on your boat, check out the guys at Diamond Deck because it is one of the best uh, flooring EVA um, foam flooring that you could use. And uh, we're gonna be putting the, fitting this out with uh, preparing it and doing all the work and we're going to bring you videos of how to do that so that you too can buy a nice cheapy a nice cheap boat like this you don't need to spend millions of dollars you can buy a, a nice cheap boat and do a bit of work to it and um, bring it up a million dollars so stay tuned for our future videos uh, with fishing with Steve D so um, look forward to uh, bringing you more videos shortly so as you can see, this has got a full floor and we're just going to do it all up, but it's got plenty of storage and we're going to tidy it up. We're going to bring you plenty of videos. That's got a huge storage compartment there and um, under here, put all the red core pots in there. Um, under the front there, you've got your anchor in there, happy days. And what I liked about this boat was we got full length, two full length rod lockers and we're going to do that one up we're just going to uh, line it properly and we're going to be able to cut the end of uh, that out like the other one is and then just put a rimming and edging around it and we're going to carpet it all so we can put heaps of rods on both sides guys and then that's the cockpit there we'll probably get rid of these seats we don't need seats in them um, everybody will sit around the corner there we're allowed only four in this boat and um, yeah it's got plenty of storage the back here that's where we're going to put all the batteries if we uh, go electric 20 horsepower electric I haven't quite decided yet whether we go uh, 20 horsepower outboard or 20 horsepower electric but uh, as you can see uh, this will keep me busy for a few months um, and as we do more video and more work to the boat we will um, bring you more updated videos of how we're going with it all stay tuned guys so here's our little project boat we're going to be doing up one of the first things that i would highly recommend everybody to do um, is to put a coupling lock on it so it's just a lock you just get a padlock there and you just lock it up just so you got a bit of added protection and i'm also going to put a wheel clamp on which i'll show you in a second okay guys i've got a a wheel clamp and we just whack it on the fire like that, push it in like that and lock it up and away you go, I can't get that off and I can't go forward so the idea is yeah so it's, I would recommend that on all boats I've got a double uh, locking protection now I've got the wheel clamp and I've got the coupling on yeah guys so I've just locked up the uh, the wheel with the wheel clamp and uh, they won't be able to move that or take that off because that's really firm now so the idea is I can't turn it around and it protects it as little as $65 you can get the added protection of having a security with a nice wheel clamp on your boat trailer or any trailers um, will work on any trailers guys so happy days well, if you enjoyed that video about our little boat project that we're going to be doing up in the next few months, please be sure to smash that subscribe button and like the video, guys. And uh, any comments that of new content you want us to do, just put the comments in below or send me a message, guys. I'm Fishing with Steve D. Until next time, God bless. Ooh-wee! I caught a beauty!